If we're going to learn anything, we need to start with the fundamentals. And today, we start to master the relational database. Understanding the relational database starts with a storage structure called a flat file. Now a flat file is essentially a list of data with rows and columns representing the different records and fields within that table. The flat file allows a program to have access to the data while separating the individual data elements within that list. Certainly a better design than you know, just randomly throwing everything together in a, in a file, but it has a couple of fatal flaws when it's used as a database. Think of a flat file as uh, maintaining your contact list in an Excel spreadsheet. You can use the columns, to represent each individual item of data that you want to store. So your first name, last name, phone number, address, those types of things, each in a column. And then each record or each line uh, row of the, of the spreadsheet represents a record within that, within that file. Now this works fine until you have two pieces of information for uh, a contact. Say a contact has a cell phone, a home phone, a work phone, all those types of things. That means now I have to create one, two, three, four rows to represent that single record. The biggest issue that we find in the flat file is the duplication of data. In order to represent those four rows for my friend David, that means that I have to write David, 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 or leave them blank, whichever I want to do. As soon as the order of that list gets modified in any way, I've lost the connection between David, my friend, and all of his various phone numbers. Think in, a, in, in different terms maybe of students and classes. If I have a student, I can list one on each row of the spreadsheet. But as soon as I put their grade in for more than one class, so class A, class B, class C, now I've got to duplicate the student's information. As soon as I start duplicating information, I run an enormous risk that record one, two, and three may not be the same. I may have changed the student's address in record number one and not in two and three. So as soon as I begin to derive information from that flat file, I run into a problem. So the flat file is not an ideal structure. We can fix that though. We can fix that by utilizing a tool called the Relational Database. The Relational Database is designed with one objective paramount over all the others, and that is that any access of the data is guaranteed to be correct. That is, if I want to look up my friend David, I know that what the Relational Database returns to me will be absolutely correct. The relational model does this by holding on to one simple rule. There is no duplicate or redundant data allowed in the database. This makes the relational model a little more difficult to understand at first, but once you grasp that single rule, you really can understand everything else that we run into. A relational database is built from entities, or what we'll call tables in, in common language. Each entity or table represents one thing that the user wants to maintain the database about. One rule here is that all the data within that entity is related to everything else within that entity. If there is something different within that entity, if there's something that isn't related to all the other fields in that data, we simply create another entity or another table. Let me give you an example. If we have the student we were talking about earlier, we put the student and the grades together, we find that we're going to be duplicating information. So number one, we want to split those entities apart. Students and then their grades. Um, in terms of healthcare, 
patients, we should represent each patient one time, maintain their name, their address, their gender, their date of birth, all those kinds of things one time. And then every time they have a visit, we want that to appear in an entirely different record. So we would have a patient entity and a visit entity. If music is your thing, think of it in this way. Musicians create albums. And on each album, there are songs. And so we would have one entity that represents the musicians, and then a second entity which represents their albums. And then, if necessary, because of duplication, we would have a third entity which represents the individual songs for those albums. The duplication prohibition requires that each record, that is each row of our entity, is absolutely unique. The way that we do this is that we assign each record something called a key. A key value, that is a, a column within an entity or an attribute of an entity, is a field that is going to be guaranteed to be unique, whether you do it yourself or you allow the database system to maybe create an auto number field or something that generates a unique number. Your patient ID would be unique. Your student ID is unique. Your social security number is unique. These would all be key type fields. When we create a key, a fully blown relational database system will guarantee that that key is unique by doing this. We enter a key or allow the system to generate it. And if we reach the end of a row and we're going to hit enter, say, and, and input that data, if that key isn't unique, the relational database management system will not allow you to add that record into your field. You would have to correct the key and make sure that it's unique before it would allow you to go on. So again, patient ID has to be unique for each patient. And the rule is we want that patient to be represented just a single time. Your student ID, you only want to be represented one time within the system. You don't want to run any danger that perhaps you get my grades somewhere down the line. When the entities are filled with unique data and then linked together in what we call relationship, we have an engine in the database engine that produces information of a guaranteed quality because we have made sure that there is no redundant data. So if we have a single student record, we are guaranteed that as long as that single student record has been maintained, nowhere else in the database will we find that student's address or phone number. Guaranteed quality. Likewise, if we have one entity that represents the student grades, so long as they've been put in correct in the first place and they are correctly related back to that patient, I guarantee you are going to get your grades or you are going to see your medical records, whichever way it works. As I said when we began, the relational database and its tools are easy to understand once you grasp the fundamentals of creating the database. So an entity is that thing about which we're going to collect data. The attributes are those columns or fields within that entity that describe the entity. First name, last name, key value, age, that type of thing. Once you get the fundamentals, entities, attributes, relationships, keys, all the rest of it's simple. We'll see you again in next week's video.